Sir John had announced yesterday that in future the police would liaise with the families of dead members of paramilitary organisations and with clergy to try to avoid intervention by the security forces at funerals. But in a joint statement issued through the Republican Press Centre in Belfast, the seven families said they were insulted by the remarks and that it was beneath contempt to expect them to negotiate with the very people who they say murdered their relations. They called on the security forces to stay away from the funerals. Seven of the eight IRA men were from County Tyrone and County Armagh. The eighth, former Sinn Féin urban councillor James Liner, was from Monaghan Town and his funeral will be held there on Wednesday. The RUC has claimed that the weapons recovered from the eight IRA men and which were displayed yesterday in Armagh had been used in the murders of seven people in the past two years. Four were UDR members and the three civilians were connected with the construction industry and the IRA alleged they had contracts to repair bomb-damaged police stations. According to the police, several of the rifles had also been used in attempted murders. One of the weapons, a Ruger revolver, had been stolen from an RUC reservist killed in an IRA attack on Ballygawley police station in County Tyrone in December 1985. Meanwhile, several thousand people took part in a march and rally in West Belfast this afternoon to mourn the deaths of the eight IRA men and to commemorate the H-block hunger strikers. The IUC and British soldiers monitored the march from the start at Dunville Park. A police officer warned those taking part it was an illegal parade. The procession was headed by a colour party of four men and four women in paramilitary type clothing and 12 women carrying pictures of the hunger strikers who died six years ago. A rally was held at Andersonstown and there were no incidents although the security forces kept watch from a distance. In West and North Belfast last night, there were disturbances with over 200 petrol bombs being thrown at the police who fired plastic bullets. The home of a Catholic county court judge on the old Cavill Road was attacked with a blast bomb. Shots were also fired and a fence and a window were damaged. Mr Justice John Curran was in the house at the time.